everyone, so this is my review of Once Upon a Time, Season 6, Episode 4, called Strange Case. And basically what this episode is about is that the evil queen tries to get her hands on the serum that Dr. Jekyll's making. And Snow has her first, like, day back at school. And Gold tries to do everything to try and protect Belle while she's going against him alongside Hook. And this was a really great episode, and I loved what they decided to do with the story of Jacqueline Hyde. Because they did keep, like, the main sort of broad story of it, but then, like, they changed, like, all the little details. Because they kept, like, the main story of Dr. Jekyll working to try and create this serum to separate man from his inner beasts. And that part they did keep, but then, like, the details of everyone else in their story changed, like... One thing that I kind of can understand is that they changed the love interest of Emma's name from Emma to Mary, because I can understand why they do that, because it kind of get confusing with two Emmas going around. And then I really enjoyed the twist that Dr. Jekyll was actually the main bad guy and not Hyde. And just having that twist and having it be like, um, Jekyll was this bad guy in this inside and it just took some certain events to wake it up. I found that really cool and really interesting and I really enjoyed that. And then I kind of felt like I knew from the beginning of this season that it was going to be like the only true way to kill off the other half that the serum separates you from. So like killing off Hyde and killing off the evil queen is to kill the main host. So killing J Dr. Jackal or killing Regina is the only way to truly get rid of the other half. I feel like I knew that from the beginning, so it wasn't that big of a surprise to me when they all finally discovered that. And then all the scenes with Snow White being back at school were really interesting and I really enjoyed. I especially enjoyed seeing like a bit of an out of practice Snow as being a teacher, where she's still not really sure or can't really fully remember how to be a teacher, but she still enjoys doing it. And then I also really loved that scene in the classroom because I think I spotted a Tom Sawyer in the class which I'm hoping that that will become more relevant in the future because I'd love to see how Tom Sawyer's story fits in with everyone else. And then the one part with all the snow scenes that kind of bugged me was Jasmine because they made Jasmine seem like such this nice and kind person when if you truly look at the Aladdin stories, she's not that nice. She's a stuck-up princess. So to have her being this nice, kind, sort of gentle, helpful person was a little odd to me, but hopefully as the story goes along with Aladdin that they might finally do in the next episode, that will be cleared up. Otherwise, if it's not and that Jasmine was always this kind of nice person, I'm not going to like it that much because that's not how Jasmine was. Then all the scenes with Hook, Gold, and Belle, I really enjoyed with how they all interacted with each other and how their whole story sort of played out. And then I also kind of like the fact that they connected the Jacqueline Hyde story to everyone else by having it so that Gold went to Dr. Jekyll early on to see about his magical serum about separating man from the beast. Gold wanted to see that to see if it actually worked because if it would have worked he probably would have stolen it so then he could truly be with Belle because he went at the time that he was sort of first falling in love with Belle and I kind of enjoyed how they made that connection and all that stuff. It was very interesting and kind of a concept that I probably wouldn't have thought of myself until much later in the thing and I'm like, oh, I should have done that. So I enjoyed that they managed to make that connection. And just overall, this was a really great episode and I cannot wait to see the next one. So yeah, that's my review of Once Upon a Time, Season 6, Episode 4, called The Strange Case. So yeah, bye!